Buongiorno legends, buongiorno superstars, it's Peps, and I'm here to bring you the round nine losers in a massive round of AFL football. Yes, I had a shocker last week. I might not be overweight, but I was the biggest loser, only tipping three potential losers last week. And so hopefully I'm going to bring you some people who are going to lose by a massive amount and it's all kicking off tomorrow night. 7.30 p.m. at the home of football, the MCG. It is the Carlton Blues. It is the Melbourne Demons. It is a top of the eight clash and a great way to set off a round of football with every top eight team playing each other. Carlton were disappointing last week. The D's very, very awesome last week against Geelong. It is going to be a very tight game. I reckon it's going to be a very defensive game. I think Melbourne are going to play a very, very similar style to the way they did against Geelong. Carlton should have won last week against Collingwood, but were unable to get the points at the end of the day. It's going to be a bumper crowd. It's going to be a massive crowd. Going with the Ds, who've had two really long breaks and then a five-dayer. They're primed. They're going to be ready. They're going to get Bowie back. So Carlton, they're going to lose this one, but don't be surprised if it is going to be by less than two goals in play. All right. We had Super Third Day. We're going to have Fantastic Friday because we've got two games. The first one is Geelong and Port Adelaide, 7.10 p.m. at GMHBA Stadium. Geelong will be seething after their first loss to the Ds last week, and Port Adelaide will be also really peeved how they went down to Adelaide in the showdown. Geelong, they're going to be way too strong at home. No one plays GMHBA better than the Cats, and they are going to pump Port. Port, Port are a shell of themselves. The co-host with the most, Jamie the J-Dog Wallace, reckons they are a false economy. And Geelong will win this one by five goals minimum and really put some extra strain on the Port Adelaide power to not just top, finish top four, but also finish in the eight. We're going to be flying all the way over to Perth because Fremantle and Sydney, they are going to be having a cracker as well too. And that's 8.30 p.m. at Optus Stadium, Perth time. And I'll tell you what, I'm a little bit excited for this. Why? Because Fremantle, after having a few lean weeks, came back last week and played some awesome footy. And we know Sydney are at the top of their game. It's going to be one of the longest road trips in footy all the way from Sydney to Perth. But I think Sydney, they're playing just that style of football at the moment that they're almost unbeatable, in my humble opinion. I just rate them really highly. And I think that they'll take this one out. It will be a grind for quite a while. Fremantle's midfield have been magnificent so far this year. Hayden Young, what a step up. We knew he was a high draft pick, but he has played some cracking footy this year. But I just think that Sydney, they've got just so many weapons of attack that I think Sydney will win this one. Uh, and I reckon it'll be about three goals at the maximum. All right, we've started off with some crackers and we're rolling into Saturday. 1.45 p.m. at Utah Saints. Yes, the University of Tasmania. It's Hawthorne versus St. Kilda. Rightio, Hawthorne, how good were they last week getting the big win against the Doggies and St. Kilda have been up and down like yo-yos. And for this being all the way down in Tasmania, I had a bit of a think. If Hawthorne play like they do last week, they are going to win this one, in my, in my humble opinion once again. But I just think that St. Kilda need to get a scalp and this is the game that they have to do it. So Hawthorne are going to be the losers this week. And they're going to lose by probably two or three goals at the most. But this is going to be my don't be surprised game if Hawthorne do come out and win this one. St. Kilda have to be playing some really good footy to pull up what Hawthorne did last week. Uh, and the Hawks will be really buoyant by what they uh, achieved against the Dogs. But I just think down there at UTAS, St. Kilda, if they want to be playing finals football, they need to win this one. And that means that they are going to take this one out. Hawthorne, unfortunately, you are going to be a loser once again. All right, probably the game of the round in Victoria is going to be Essendon versus GWS. 4.25 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. What a cracking way. You've got your local footy. You can then sit on the couch, watch two cracking teams go at it. GWS was smashed completely last week by the Swans. And Essendon, they just keep serving up good quality football. When I look at this one, 
I'm going for an upset here. GWS are going to lose. No Callum Brown for three weeks. They're playing on Essendon's fast deck. They love playing over there at Marvell Stadium. Zach Merritt, all Australian form. Darcy Parrish looking amazing. Kyle Langford, love what he does down forward. And a big Ben Mackay down back is making it really easy for the midfielders and the halfbacks to really get around him and stream that ball out of the back line, something that Essendon haven't been able to do for a while. They've even fixed up their defensive structures as well too. Toby Green, not playing great footy. Uh, Tom Green is uh, probably not going to be playing due to injury again. And I just think this is that little hiccup that each team has throughout the season. And I reckon Essendon, you're going to be winning this one. So GWS Giants are going to go down. They're going to go down by about three goals in what most people would see as an upset. But I picked it here on Tipped Out because we know how to pick the losers. All right. Two teams that have been massive losers are playing on Saturday evening, 7.30 p.m. at the MCG. It's Richmond. It's the Western Bulldogs. Look, a number of years ago, these guys were fighting it out for the top four and premiership contention. Now, they're just lucky to survive getting into the eight in Richmond. First year for Adam Muse has been nothing short of woeful. Unfortunately, the cattle on the park for Richmond isn't that crash hot. And the Western Bulldogs, they're just playing with no confidence whatsoever at the moment. They should be pushing quite high. How good was the bond last week? He was the only reason why Western Bulldogs even got close. But I think that they'll be too strong for the Richmond Football Club. Richmond, unfortunately, they are going to be getting a few players back. We don't know exactly who they are at this stage because teams haven't been released. But the Western Bulldogs will be way too strong. Their forward line, Norton, uh, Jamara Hugel, Hagen, Darcy down there are going to kill it. So I think that the rest of Richmond are going to go down. And this could be a seven or eight goal. It could get quite ugly if the Western Bulldogs really put their foot on the Tigers' throat and skin those bad boys alive. All right. Moving into the Sunday games, Gold Coast versus the North Melbourne Football Club at TIO Stadium up there in Northern Territory. Gold Coast, they'll win. North Melbourne, their woeful season continues again. This will be 20. This, just, this could actually be a hungy. If the Gold Coast Suns pull their out of there, they will win this one quite simply. They're going to be way too strong. And North Melbourne, we know they don't have a back line. And once it gets past halfway, they struggle to uh, stop the ball. Gold Coast, they'll be way, way too strong. And North Melbourne, you're going to be a loser for the eighth week in a row and continue that pathetic season that you are having. Rightio, hey, it's not the 2018 grand final, but Collingwood and West Coast, they're going to be playing each other. And this one is at Marvell Stadium. Yes, a place that Collingwood supporters probably don't even know exists because as we know, they never leave the MCG. West Coast, they will be are beaten, quite simply, by Collingwood. Even with no Lockie Schultz for punching in the back of the head last week, uh, Collingwood will be way too strong. West Coast, Harley Reid, will he play? Will he won't play? We're not too sure. Yo will be out. So they're two big prime movers who have been brilliant in 2024 so far, won't be probably playing. And that means they're just not going to be strong enough. And Collingwood, this could be a 60 or 70 pointer if they really want to play that football that we know that they can play. So West Coast, you're going to be going down by 70 plus. Um, but it could be more if Collingwood really do decide to turn up to Marvell Stadium. They will have to set their GPS units to find the ground, though. And Adelaide and Brisbane, Sunday, 4 p.m. at the Adelaide Oval. How good were Adelaide last week, everyone, against Port Adelaide in the showdown? They were sensational. And the Brisbane Lions, well, it was injury central, but they were still able to get the win against Gold Coast, who were very, very disappointing. It might have been the uh, the Q clash last week, but they will not be winning this week, which is the Brisbane Lions. I think Adelaide are going to be way too strong. They're going to be way too fit, and the injuries are going to take its toll against Brisbane. I really like what Saligo is doing. Rankin's been a little bit better in the midfield this week. Rory Laird just keeps doing what he keeps doing. And Tex, I think, could actually have a, a burst-out game for 2024, which we haven't seen so far. So the Brisbane Lions, you're going to be going down by, I reckon, less than a goal. And Adelaide, you are once again going to be getting a little bit more of that uh, towards finals. I don't think they'll be playing them, but these are the games that they could win to give their supporters some hope. Rightio, there you go, viewers, listeners, and everybody. That's tipped out. Round nine losers for a massive week of AFL football. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Every